Hi, my name is Ed Padgett from edpadgett.com and in this video I'm going to show you a super simple stretch for your piriformis that shouldn't irritate your lower back when you do it. A lot of my clients have problems stretching or relaxing a piriformis because they have back pain as well. And most of the stretches, like the classic stretches like this, can irritate the lower back when you do them. Um, so what I'm gonna show you is a way to do that without actually irritating your lower back. Now the piriformis goes from the sacrum to the femur. So it goes from your lower back bone, you know, this, this thing here, to this bone here. And so when you're moving your leg, you will also be pulling on your sacrum, which can cause problems in itself. But this exercise won't do that. All right, very simply, we're gonna base this on the work of Thomas Hanna. So from, uh, he, he founded Hanna Somatics. And we're gonna move the muscle in a, uh, in a rhythmical manner to stretch it and to contract it, to stretch it and to contract it. And what that does is it tells the brain that the muscle doesn't need to be in spasm anymore and helps reset it from a neurological point of view. Okay, how do we do it? We're gonna stretch this top one here, so this is my right one. And when the piriformis contracts, it's gonna lift this leg up, and when it relaxes, it's gonna drop this leg down. So I wanna give it a little bit more space to relax into. So I'm gonna move my bottom leg up slightly, and I'm gonna let this drop all the way down here. All right, I'm gonna relax my whole spine by putting my head up on my arm. And now I'm gonna contract this muscle really slowly, pulling it up and letting the leg go as far up as it can. And then back down. Now what you might notice is that if this muscle is tight or in spasm, there'll be a kind of a, a jolt or a area where the movement isn't smooth. Now your brain has not asked your muscle to make that jolt. It's actually a little bit of a disconnect between your brain and that muscle. So when you feel the jolt, go back up and over it and see if you can smooth it out till eventually you can do three or four of these movements without any shuddering or without any shaking. Okay, I'm gonna show you this from behind. Same side, so it's my right leg, my right piriformis that we're working on here. You're going to be lying down, the left leg's uh, pulled up to 90 degrees, if not a bit more. We allow the knee to drop down to stretch the piriformis, and then pulling it up like this. Now a common problem or a common mistake would be to actually move the pelvis. We don't want the pelvis to You use your kind of core muscles and coordination to do that, and all the movement comes in your hip joint. Now, because it's uh, neural retraining, we're training the nervous system to relax the muscle, it's not muscular strength training. So you don't need to do this for uh, many reps and sets. You just need to do it about three to five times and you repeat that on both sides. And the reason you do it on both sides is the piriformis muscles work as a pair. So if this is the sacrum in the middle, so your, your spine is here, it comes down to your sacrum, these are your legs coming down. You have one piriformis that comes off this way, one piriformis that comes off this way. And so you need to relax both those piriformis, so, or piriformi, to, to get them to, uh, to calm down and come out of spasm. So this is gonna help people with piriformis syndrome, it's gonna help people with back pain, it's gonna help people with that sciatica caused by that piriformis syndrome down their leg. So go on, give that one a go. And also don't forget to subscribe if you like this video.